Welcome back to International Scale Modeler. Today we're going to do a review of an Edouard kit. It's uh, one of their limited edition 172s. This is the B24D Mission Centenarians. Uh, now these are one of the, the limited edition ones, the ones with all the upgrades like resin bits and bobs and photo etch and things like that. Uh, usually the limited editions are kits that they've got from another manufacturer and then, you know, put all these extra bits in to, to make them uh, a lot, lot better. Uh, I don't know too much about this kit, so uh, without further ado, let's have a look inside the box and see what we've got. So then, the Edouard 172B24 D Limited Edition Missing Centenarians. Uh, now, uh, if you can have a look from the box art, there's just a bit of box of bombs there by the looks of it. A uh, very nice looking uh, colour on that on that B24D, uh, very nice indeed. Elsewhere on the box, it just has a few, obviously what's, uh, what other schemes there are inside. And apart from that, pretty much nothing, some decal options. Uh, now, if you've um, had the limited editions of Edouard's before, I've got a few of them. Um, basically, you have lots of little extras in there. You see, sometimes you have resin, and uh, it's a lot like their profi packs, but with a little bit extra. Uh, so let's have a look inside the box anyway. Let's see what we've got. Let's take everything out as per normal. There's a lot in there. Okay, right, so we've got one big bag here, uh, which I don't like, but it looks like they're all in separate bags inside the big bag. So let's have a look, see if I'm right. Yes, they are. That's excellent. I was nearly very worried then. So we take those out. Everything's all in its separate bags. Well, there's a couple of screws in each bag. So let's start off with the main fuselage, what looks like the fuselage. Okay. Right, I don't know if this is based on a, a kit from another manufacturer, it usually is, and I would say this one definitely is because this is definitely not Edouard plastic. Um, I've got quite a few Edouard models, I like Edouard a lot, 
and this is definitely not their plastic, that's for sure. Uh, so it looks like it's an older kit because there's quite a bit of uh, burring uh, everywhere. On nearly every piece of plastic there's some burring, apart from the wheels which is nice. Um, as you know, all, all burring needs is a bit of a little bit of work with a scalpel and you'll be fine. Uh, so outside, uh, recessed panel lines. I've got to say the panel lines are a bit soft. Um, they're not as crisp as Eduard's own panel lines usually are. Um, but there's a bit of work that needs doing there. On the internal of the fuselage, it's quite empty. Uh, completely, actually. Uh, so there's devoid of everything. But apart from that, there's some nice... Um, <coughs> some nice... As you can see, just there. There's some nice engraving on there. Very, very fine engraving. And obviously those are the tail planes. Um, so there's some very fine engraving there. That won't, that won't take too much paint, I've got to say. But it, all the engraving is very fine, which, to be honest with you, as it's um, uh, 172 scale, it's probably, it looks like it should be in scale. As you can see, it's all very nice. It's just not as crisp as some of them that you see. Uh, the other sprue with the uh, other half of the fuselage on, again, same. The fuselage itself is actually, as I say, there's little little bits of flash like this here, as you can see there, but not not great deal. It's a bit of clean up on everything. I mean, things like this, this is where it gets a bit horrid. As you can see on those bits there, you can see they don't look nice at all. Um, and you can see the flash through that way. Okay, doesn't look nice. It's going to need a bit of work on that. Um, so keep your. Oh, this is actually a mini craft kit. As you can see there, it says right there mini craft. So it's a mini craft kit that they've taken and they've added their extra little bits and bobs to. So uh, we're reviewing a mini craft kit with Eduard Extras. Um, the guns are pretty poor. Uh, they don't look very nice at all. Probably look for some upgrades on those unless they're in the bag. I don't know. Uh, but that's the main fuselage sprues. Let's have a look. What have we got next? Right, we have one sprue here. We've got the uh, looks like the front nose section. Again, a lot of let's just zoom you in here, It'll probably be easier than okay. So, as you can see, there's quite a bit of flash on those parts, stressed corners, and stress marks here, uh, a lot of flash around here. Um, the wings themselves, they've got a little bit on. Not a great, not uh, too much to worry about. So that, that nose section, um, there's two different nose sections as well. There's another section here, so there's two sections. As you can see, they're quite quite different as well. You see you've got this cut out here, and it's not on this one. So two distinct uh, versions. Again, the, the guns, the machine guns on here are really poor. They're really bad. Um, not nice at all, as you can see. Um, Definitely an upgrade of those would be needed, I think, just to make them look nice. Uh, and again, you've got uh, parts of the tail planes and everything. And the engraving's nice, not very, not amazingly crisp, but it's still okay, it's passable. You then got the uh, this other sprue, you've then got the engine cowlings, the props, and some bombs. Uh, now, unfortunately, the props have got quite a bit of flash on as well, as you can see. So they're going to need some clean up. And the same with all this. I do know actually for a fact that this is an out of production kit now. Engines, very basic indeed. Again, pretty poor. Very poor indeed. Um, this is 172, I know, but this is a big 172, so you should be able to, you know, have uh, much nicer parts. So let's have a look in here. God, I'll tell you what, it seems like the last few kits I've reviewed, I've just been slating them. Uh, I'm going to have to get some nice kits again, I think. Uh, right, so we come to the wings. They've got two wing sections, obviously mirrored sprues. Um, there's a bit of mould release agent on these, so it's just going to need a bit of clean up. As you can see, there's mountains of flash on the sprues itself. On the uh, on the wings, you're going to have, you've got lots of burring. Some people call it flash, I'll call it burring. I think there's a distinct difference between flash and burring. Uh, around the edges, the wing tips there. Same on the other one, and all the way down the wing as well. Very rough indeed. 
Uh, so it's going to need quite a lot of clean up. The engraving, again, very soft. Uh, it is 172, so I think it is, is in scale, which is nice to see. Sometimes they go overboard with these big bombers uh, with the engraving. And again, engraving's nice. Uh, again, burring all, all around the, uh, the edges here, the wing tips, and pretty much all around the inside of the wheel bays. So quite a bit of work and clean up needed on that kit. And that's all the sprues. Uh, we've got the glass. Let's have a look. So we've got three bits of glass in one bag, again, which doesn't bode well. Uh, now this is 172, so it's going to be quite thick. Um, the glass itself is, I mean, this is all mini craft glass. It's not Eduard or anything. It's clear. I don't think you need to polish it, which is nice. The magnification isn't too bad at all, and the shoulder at certain angles. But apart from that, it's not bad at all. Okay. So, not bad at all on that. So that's reasonably impressive. Uh, you then got more. This looks like for the uh, uh, another version. And as you can see, again, it's unfortunately because it's 172, the glass is a bit thick and a bit out of scale, um, as it always is on a lot of these uh, these type of kits. But uh, it's not amazing glass, um, but it will do, it will pass. Excuse me. And then you've got obviously this is the big nose cone for for the version that's on the box here. Um, now that's in good nick. Uh, there's a lot of panels to the thing, so we hope there's a mask set in here. I'm sure there is, but it being if it's an Eduard limited edition. So a bit of work there. I mean, that one's not too bad either, as you can see. Uh, let's pop those back in the box and open the bag. I don't want to get those scratched or anything. Okay, so what else have we got? We have got lots of little goodies here. Now, Unexpectedly, there, there is no resin, bag of resin, which is usually what you get with a limited edition. So, uh, no bag of resin upgrades for the cockpit, because the cockpit was exceptionally minimal. There was nothing on the inside of the fuselage at all. So, even though this is a limited edition from Eduard, you're still going to need to buy an upgrade set. Um, let's have a, uh, well, we've got a pack of masks there. That is invaluable, uh, especially for big bombers like that. Uh, we've got a little piece of card about uh, one of their new releases. Uh, we do have a photo etch sprue. Ah, a couple of photo etch sprues. Ah, ha, ha, ha. So we have this instead of resin. Um, now, Eduard photo etch is obviously, I think, some of the best in the game, isn't it, really? That's what they're known for, that and their masks. So let's have a look at the, what we've got in here. We've got the cockpit update set now, very nice indeed. Um, some people like these, some people hate these uh, uh, coloured cockpit decals. I think in an old kit like this, where it's all flat surfaces and you don't have to take anything down, things like that, then I think they're uh, quite a, a bonus actually. Let's zoom you in so you can have a good look. But a uh, nice level of detail on there, and uh, that will spruce up the cockpit a bit. Now the cockpit, if you look on here, you're not going to see much of the cockpit. It's this area that you want the gunner's position that you want a lot of the work. If you've got that big open nose, you can see a little bit here because you've got the, the glass on the top. But this is where you're going to want all the extra detail. So we've got a little bit there and then we've got uh, we've got another sprue. Another fret, should I say, or photo etch. Now this has got obviously engine cables. We've got some flooring there by the looks of it, some panels. I would imagine some of this is for outside, maybe wheel bay uh, wiring, things like that. But that is a very nice looking fret of photo etch. Very fine indeed. Edward are really definitely the kings of photo etch in my eyes. Uh, it's beautiful looking photo etch. So that's going to update certain parts of it. Hopefully there'll be, I mean this looks like here, this looks like it's an internal part of the cockpit for the gunner's position. That does look like that will fold up. You can see you've got foot, foot pegs here and things like that. So I think that's going to update the the, uh, the gunner's position and everything, which which it definitely needs, obviously. Um, right, let's pop those back. I'll do those later. We've got the decals. Uh, we've got two decal sheets. We have one. Um, which is obviously all the uh, American roundels and everything. Um, and you've got this tail plane skull and crossbones or bomb and, cross, bomb and crossbones um, 
So uh, a skull and cross bomb, sorry. <laughs> so there's some several markers, a couple of mark, different marking sets there. They all seem to be in register. What I do like about them, they're not glossy. Uh, these are actually Eduard's own uh, um, decals. They're not glossy. They're uh, re they're kind of like a flat to satin. Um, they do seem a bit bumpy, so hopefully they'll come off okay. Uh, but uh, nice little detail set. Now this is the set that, that looks really funky. Uh, and if you see this, you see some really funky pictures on there. So you can really go to town with your options. It obviously said, shows that there's going to be a few options inside the, uh, the instruction manual, which we'll have a look at in a minute. But uh, I mean, there's even a map here. And uh, group versus. Lots of little extras there that, that wouldn't be unless. This is a maybe maybe this is a display aircraft in it. I'm not sure. Um, you got because uh, these are all in one block. All these captains' names, all this text, all in one block. So it might be that there's a display version in there. I don't know. We'll have a look when we get in the instruction manual. But some nice decal options there. Some very funky ones indeed. And they're all in register as well. Uh, the only thing I will say is, as you know, I like the transfer film to be cut right to the edge of the picture or the writing or the decal. These aren't, uh, they're a bit sloppy actually, I've got to say, in some places. Other places they're really good. I think they could be better. Um, I know a lot of people are using cast graph at the moment, but these aren't. Right, so we've got um, we've got everything there. So all we've got left is the instruction manual. Now, as you've heard me before, I wax lyrical about Edouard's instruction manuals. Uh, mainly because they're magazine quality. Um, nice and shiny and um, if you spill paint or anything or anything like that they're going to be fine you always get good write-ups where there are and they're good step-by-step -step, uh, instructions on here you've got a big intro um, obviously in English and I would imagine uh, Czech, uh, Czech Republic um, about the write-up of the 24 uh, B24 uh, and uh, and then you've got a color scheme straight away uh, which is the uh, the shark's mouth one there uh, with Moby Dick it's called uh, so straight away you're into the colour schemes uh, right on the front of the, the thing we'll have a look at the other colour schemes as well while we're at it because we've done that one already we've then got another shark's mouth oh that is the one we'll do them in a minute okay let's go through so you've got uh, a little bit of instructions obviously you've then got sprue maps numbered sprue maps I hasten to add which I really really like um, as you know, uh, all very nice. You can strip all that and clean all that. Every part does need a bit of clean up. So uh, it's, good. it's nice to have that. So you can cut it all off, clean it all up, and then you can put it all into sections because uh, it's all there numbered ready for you. Colour call outs uh, are for guns, Aquas, and their uh, Mr. Colour, which is their enamel version. Uh, all the H's are there, which is excellent, apart from the interior green, which you can find somewhere else, I'm sure, or mix a colour up. So I like that, so that's all my colours anyway. Um, that's what I like about Eduard, they go for a, a neutral, guns is a very neutral one, it's a lot of manufacturers use for a neutral paint. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, Eduard's details are very uh, good, they're very intuitive, very easy to understand. Blue parts is PE basically, or some extra parts, bam bam. In you go, you've got, you've got paint the bits as you go, okay, where it all sticks to, and they're very, very uh, easy to understand, and they build up quite well, I know, I've built a couple of Eduard kits now. Uh, so, carry on now, we're obviously we're all doing the inside of the extra, this is all photo etched, everything PE is photo etched, you can see all these extra bits and bobs, it's going to bring up the side wall of that fuselage here and here, so quite a bit in there, uh, which, will, which will change the whole face of it. As you can see, and then you've got the bomb racks there, which needed a bit of tidy, tidy up, uh, quite a bit of tidy up. Um, and we've got the rear machine guns again. I, I would definitely say that it's a bit of a shame, really, that they haven't uh, updated the, the machine guns um, because they're pretty woeful. And I would say definitely look for an up, update set uh, on the machine guns for this for this kit for sure. Uh, then going into the wheel bay, he's got an extra little bit of detail there, some photo etch, um, just to liven those up a little bit. Then you've got the wing sections, um, engines on, I'd, I'd leave the props till last. Um, I always do, I never put the props on until I've finished. So usually the last thing that goes on my aircraft, that and aerials. Um, and as you can see, it all slots together quite nicely. Um, obviously lots of test fitting before you go to work on this, before you go to town on it. 
You then got the nose section, and you've got parts that for different markings, whichever marking you're going for at the at the end, which we'll see. Some more photo etch as well on the inside of the glass, which is nice. And uh, that'll be for like a control panel and everything up there. I'm sure they're control panels. Then you've got some more for the front wheel bay. Uh, oh, sorry, no, that's the yeah, that's the wing wheel bay. Oh no, it is the front wheel bay. Um, and very tiny little bits of photo etch and things like this, just to update the mud guards. Uh, lots of photo etch around their legs and things like that. So, uh, looking at this, I mean, the, the the annoying part about this is the clean up, I think, really. But apart from that, there's from that one little you can see from that one little fret of photo etch, two little frets, one's a cockpit one, one's the, the other one, how much extra it will add to, to the build on this. Um, there's a lot, lot of it. Bombay is open or closed, obviously. Um, Depending on what the interior looks like, you can decide after you've done the interior whether you want them closed or open because uh, they are uh, they have different parts, but you can you add them at the same time, so um, you can see what it looks like and see decide whether you want to open it or not. Uh, you then got uh, the mask set on here. Um, obviously, it's quite a large mask set by the looks of it because there's several different options of, of aircraft on there. Four different options by the looks of it. So uh, it's a numbered mask set, which is excellent. Uh, this, these things are invaluable. I use them on every aircraft I build because I like to. Right. So the options, the color schemes. We have um, this is 98 BG 345th BS Lecce, Lecce, sorry, AB it, Italy from summer 1944. This is the one that's on the cover uh, of the box. Uh, very nice tanned color, sand and natural greys. Uh, be nice to, to get that weathered up. Um, now you can probably get some really nice weathering on that because it'll take a, a good stain very well because of its colour. You've then got uh, the 376 BG 514th PS from San Pancrazio in Italy, February 1944 as well. Again, two colour, olive drab and then deep sky blue. Um, and this is the blue streak version. The other one was uh, Chugalug. And this is the blue streak version. She's got these extra bits here and, and everything. Uh, you've then got these are the full nosed versions as well. Uh, you've then got uh, commanded by Captain Wallace Taylor. You've got a captain's name on this one 98th BG 244th BS from North Africa, summer 1943. Again, the same color as what's on the box art. Uh, so, another one, and this is the uh, the Volga Voyager. I don't know, the Volga, looks like Viagra. I don't know. The Volga something, um, but uh, let's have a look on here. The Volga Virgin, sorry, God, I saw it's going. That's the Volga Virgin, uh, and then we've got on the lastly on the back, uh, we've got 90th, 90th BG 320th BS from Southwest Pacific, late 1943. And to be honest with you, this is the one that appeals to me for several reasons. One, it's not two just two distinct colours. You've got this smashing decal on the tail plane, uh, but if, as you can see here, you've got this this. Um, outlying soft edged camo pattern which just breaks up that whole aircraft that will break up that whole aircraft and make it just look that little bit more funky this is the Moby Dick um, with the shark's mouth and everything and uh, I like the way they got the eyes over the windows at the front here very nice indeed several colors to work with uh, definitely the one I'd go with um, and the one that I'd love to see built so uh, I think that will come out really really nice so Overall, uh, the uh, B24D Centenarians edition from uh, limited edition from Eduard, it is out of production now. You can only get it on eBay and think places like that, and well, whoever's got it left in the shops. Um, good parts, loads of decals, loads of options. Um, great uh, uh, usual thing from Eduard in their instruction manuals. Glass is okay. Good, you've got a mask set that. Those couple of frets of photo etch are really going to make a difference. The kit itself is not very nice. It needs a lot of clean up. The engraving is good. I would say it's definitely in scale. It's light. It's not too deep. So that's nice. But, I mean, you're going to clean every single part of this kit uh, before you put it on. It's going to need some clean up. So um, definitely take your time on it. I think the photo etch will make a difference. I would definitely say get some extra, get some machine guns for it. Get some aftermarket machine guns because they really do let it down. And they will make it look a bit crap if you leave them on there so get those but apart from that it'll be a nice build definitely a challenge for someone if you like that sort of thing so uh until next time take care bye bye